after its 8th season run, pun intended, CW's The Flash finally came to an end with the release of its ninth and final season. So as we say goodbye to the fastest man alive, the gang, and their crazy adventures, let's take a look at one lesson we can all learn from The Flash. Hi, I'm Ziddy, and this is The Flash, Our Actions Have Consequences. The Flash is about Barry Allen, CSI turned superhero who could run really, really fast. We all know that superheroes are individuals with extraordinary powers. And while we have actual heroes in real life, superheroes like The Flash, Superman, Spider-Man, etc. are fictional. I mean, you already know this. So therefore, they don't necessarily follow the rules of real life. However, what I like about CW's The Flash, before it got all confusing and repetitive, is that it showed that even superheroes such as The Flash had to face the consequences of his action, particularly an abrupt decision, but we'll get to that later. First, let me explain a very important event in Barry Allen's life for those who are not familiar with CW's The Flash. By the way, obviously if you don't want spoilers, don't watch this video. This video is full of spoilers. You have been warned. Barry Allen lost his mother when he was very young. His mother was killed by an unknown yellow speedster. Speedsters are what they call people like the Flash who can run really fast, who was later revealed as reverse Flash, the Flash's nemesis. And you would think, how could a child already have a nemesis? Well, reverse Flash is future Barry's enemy, and he just went back in time to kill young Barry. But Future Barry saved young Barry, and Reverse Flash was so angry that he killed Barry's mother instead. Then Barry's father got blamed for it, so he got thrown in jail. Poor young Barry. Okay, you with me so far? I swear, if you don't watch the show, it could get very confusing with all these paradoxes. Even as someone who has watched the show, I'm still so confused. Anyway, so why did I mention this incident? Well, first of all, it's the catalyst for everything that happened to Barry's life. And second, it has something to do with our lesson for today. In almost every season, The Flash seems to always have to be faster than the main villain. It's just funny how he always introduces himself as the fastest man alive, but there's always someone faster than him suddenly popping up. Anyway, in the second season of The Flash, the main villain that Barry is supposed to outrun is Zoom. No, not that Zoom. This Zoom. But you know, this Zoom is also the villain of our pandemic life. And despite the chaos that was going on around him, Barry was becoming more and more at peace with his mother's death, even processing it with the speed force. It, it, it's, it's a whole thing. Nevertheless, Barry then watches another parent die when Zoom kills his father. At the end of the season though, our Scarlet Speedster finally defeats Zoom. However, the success is not without cause, as Barry mourns for his father's death. And even though Iris, his childhood friend slash longtime crush, finally confesses her mutual love for Barry, even kissing him, Barry felt like he was not ready to be in a relationship, especially with everything that had happened. Iris understands and tells him to do what he needs to do, but that she'll be waiting for him. And this necessary task for Barry was to go back in time to stop Reverse Flash from killing his mother. And that's when the events of Flashpoint began. Are you guys still with me? I hope so. In the following season, as Barry enjoys his complete family, the captured Reverse Flash warns him of the consequences of changing the timeline. Barry eventually realizes that he will lose all his previous memories and even his superpower. So he goes back in time again. By going back, Barry assumes that it would reset the original timeline. At first, it seemed like everything did come back to normal. However, we later find some significant changes. Joe and Iris don't talk anymore. There's a guy at work, a new guy, who doesn't like you. You never kissed Iris, and Cisco's brother is dead. Admittedly, that is an issue. And what if there's more? Who's that young boy with Dig? No way, he didn't have a kid before? 
We had a kid. He was, he was a kid. Yeah, it was baby Sarah. Baby John. Oh. Are you... When Barry realized these changes, he tried to go back again in time to reset the timeline. However, Jay Garrick, Henry Allen's Earth Tree doppelganger, prevented Barry from going back. He explained, This coffee cup right here, think of it as the space-time continuum. Whenever you go back in time, it breaks. Not real, I mean. You can reset the timeline. You can try to fix it. But no matter how hard you try, it's never going to be exactly how it was. Jay concluded the conversation with a very important question. The question you need to ask yourself is, what kind of hero are you going to be? Are you just going to take a do-over every time you make a mistake? Or are you going to live with them and move forward? So in the end, Barry decides not to go back, but to live with the changes he caused and move forward. So in all the chaos and mishaps, that's just what I wanted to point out. We see the Flash going back in time and trying to reset what he has changed. But that's the thing, he couldn't change what was originally there. Even going back in time again would just change even more things. And that's what I really like about this show. Imagine if Barry just gets to have a do-over every single time he makes a mistake. That wouldn't be fair, and that would definitely be boring. Everything would just be pointless because he could just have a do-over every single time he would make a mistake. Then nothing would be at stake. Everything would be meaningless. And isn't that true for all of us? Sometimes, no matter how sorry we are or how much we regret what we've done, we really can't change what we've already done. Of course, we still need to apologize for our bad decisions. But at the end of the day, we still have to face the consequences of our actions. However, that doesn't mean we can't make up for our mistakes. We can always do better. And I guess that's what mistakes and consequences are for. So we learn to be better. Barry Allen, you will be missed. Thank you for being the best, Grant. You had a wonderful run. Hi guys! To be honest, I haven't seen the final season, but I think they fixed one of Barry's flashpoint changes. Sarah Diggle came back to the Diggle family, so yay! My sister and I will probably be watching the episodes we still haven't seen. Even though the show turned into a mess, it's still good to finish what we've started. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye!